Stay tuned if you want to learn how to make this circular balloon garland stand for less than $20. All right, guys, let me show y'all how I made this um, hoop balloon garland. So I went to Home Depot and I got these um, 10 feet um, PEX tubes. Um, they're bendable. Um, so I got them. I'm going to shape them up and get my son out here to help me. And um, we're going to make a circle. Um, and I'll show you guys a video of or my inspiration photo so you guys can get an idea. Okay, so those are the couplings. Those are the things that connect both sides to make the circle. So I bought two of those from Home Depot and they were like a dollar or two dollars or something like that. So I'm about to go ahead and uh, connect these two pieces together and then round it out um, and then we'll put it together. I also got a 10 foot um, regular PVC pipe that's an inch and a half in diameter that we're going to use to create the legs. But once we get to there, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, here is the circle. I put it against the fence so you can see a better look. This is a video of the circle. As you can see, the connectors, the couplings, and stuff like that, you can um, identify where they're located, which is good in a sense because you know where to hide um, the balloon garlands when you do put them together. But it actually bent in a circle a lot easier than I expected. Um, it actually turned a lot rounder than I expected. Um, I was very impressed, and it's very sturdy, guys. It's not like it's going to break or anything like that. So I was really, really impressed how great that it turned out um being like that so i have a few things that i bought from hobby lobby um i want to spray paint this and i'm also going to glitter it out to give it a better effect and i started doing some things different just coming up with some ideas as it was sitting against the fence um because i didn't know how i wanted to do it and what color to use because the party scheme i'm going for is gold and rose gold so in this picture, you can see I spray painted it rose gold and it actually turned out very, very pretty. Um, here is, again, the rose gold as it's drying, baking in the sun. Um, it turned out really, really pretty. Um, the theme, again, for the party is rose gold and actual gold. Um, so I decided that I'm going to just spray paint one side of the circle rose gold and the other side of the circle. Actually, I'm going to do um, gold. Um, and then I also have some glitter that's rose gold, um, fine flakes, and I also have some medium size um, glitter that's actually gold. So I decided um, to make it a two party thing. I'm gonna do that. So here is the crayon metallic rose gold that I got from Hobby Lobby, and then I also got the gold crayon, uh, which is 18 karat gold. I got from Hobby Lobby, which is good, and they're both so pretty, they're both so nice, and I love them both. Um, I couldn't choose, so I decided um, to do both of them. At first, I was just going to do one and create the whole circle that way, but after looking at both of them and how they really sprayed on, and also like as a future party planner and marketing and stuff like that, I figured, hey, why keep making a new thing or spray painting a new thing? We can just flip the thing old thing around. So you guys will see that in a second. All right, so here is the fine rose gold glitter. It's by Glitter it's from Hobby Lobby. It was uh, 349 um, it turned out really, really pretty. Wait till you guys see exactly what it is. And then this is a little bit of the thicker glitter I got from Hobby Lobby um, as well. And it was $2.99. So not too bad. It's actually a bigger size. But that one was really, really pretty as well um, once it came on there. And I'll show you guys that in a second. All right, again, most of my tools came or supplies came from Hobby Lobby, um, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. This is my pool. I did that DIY myself during the summertime during quarantine. I'll link another video for that so you guys can see that was so easy and simple and it saved so much money and you didn't have to spend a whole lot of money on that. Um, 
but yeah back to this video let's keep it rolling all right All right, so here's my little home sign I bought from Hobby Lobby. That was just on there while I was waiting for it to dry. But as you can see, the other side, I started the gold process. And it turned out so pretty, like I told y'all. This spray paint on this PEX tube, I mean, really came out very, very good. Um, the metallic shows, like the video doesn't even do it justice. But as you can see, off of the... Um, ground there and everything like that it looks very very good um even the home sign it was black when i bought it uh, from hobby lobby for like seven dollars and fifty cents it was on sale and i spray painted that and it looks good it's gonna look so bomb with my dining room anyway so here i added the glitter flakes now you guys see that so bomb right all right so here's the legs so i cut them um one inch um a foot one foot um and i had to do three different ones so a total of six but then i found out that it didn't really work like that so i actually had to make the height of it two feet tall and then the two end legs um one the one foot work these are the caps for them um i put them on the end you don't have to have them but if you want a more aesthetic pleasing look um i will use the caps to put on the end of them I'm going to spray paint the whole thing anyway, so it's not really even going to matter. Um, so you're about to see that. I'm using my circular saw, my handheld circular saw to cut it because I don't have a PVC cutter. So you guys will see. Um, just bear with me. I couldn't do it with both. I tried to set it up where you guys can watch me cut it, but it just wasn't happening. So um, I had to cut it off camera and things like that. But okay, so here is me connected to the T caps, and then this is the finished product of it. Looks nice, right? Simple, yeah. So then I spray painted them gold. Yeah, they look nice. Those are the legs, and then this is the final part of the rose gold. I added the glitter, and look, guys, this is the final touch of it. I just screwed the legs on, and it looks so beautiful. <laughs> 